Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your host Funko Rebel with another unboxing episode. But before we start today on the unboxing, I want to say my condolences to the O'Neill family. Dennis O'Neill passed away of the age 81 this morning. Uh, for many of you that don't know who Dennis O'Neill is in the comic industries, this is comics. Uh, he was a writer for Green Lantern. He did many series. And he was also the writer for many series for the Batman. Uh, he passed away today of age 81. So my condolences to the O'Neill family. Uh, I do want to show off some Batman stuff that I did pick up uh, during the week via mail uh, from Amazon. Or a buddy of mine picked up for me at a Walmart that a Walmart by me doesn't have or didn't have. They were able to get me the complete set when they came out. So in honor for Dennis O'Neill, I do want to show off some Batman mixed with some Green Lantern and uh, stuff, which are Fisher Price. These are pretty cool. Uh, these were exclusive to Walmart. This is Detective Comics, 1939 Detective Comics 27, first appearance of Batman. So that's the Fisher Price. Yes, I love these things. I love the blind bags because the whole point of the blind bags is you don't know what you got. And these were exclusive to Walmart that it came out last year that they said that they were going to come out. Then they finally hit shelves. Of course, everything up here in New York is very slow of getting stuff in. Um, everything in California and the South get it first before up here in the North. So a buddy of mine down in the south was able to go, when he went to Walmart, he actually picked up three sets. He knew I was looking for it, so he actually picked me up a set of these things. These things are awesome. I love them. And I got the whole set. So that's one. Then we have uh, Green Lantern number nine. Batman fuses with the Green Lantern ring. We have... Night Quest, Batman, 1993. I uh, forgot what issue this was. I have it too. Uh, 567, I think it was. Uh, I have the issue too, and I can't remember the number, but this is number three of the Fisher Price. Then we have Batman. 2008 miracle on crime alley this is this is one batman that um target had an exclusive of as a funko we did not see it here in new york and if you did get it in new york you are very lucky because target probably got one or two and of course the flippers got to it first and we never saw it in new york so and i know this is a very rare grail piece to any Batman fans out there but this is actually uh, one of the cool Batmans for Fisher Price in an individual card which was also part of that set of from Walmart um, there were supposed to be two sets it was this one single figure carded uh, and then it was supposed to be a whole set that we didn't know where it was exclusive to and this is Justice X uh, Alex Rose's uh, Batman in 2007 uh detective comic paperback volume three so that's that one and the one that did come in a few days ago but of course it came in damaged thanks to amazon because they don't have common sense to actually put something in a box that you know they see the person's always buying certain things and they put it in a padded envelope so it came in damaged and i called them to return it and it finally came in today Again, in a yellow padded envelope after you told the customer service rep, please make a notation that they need to put it in the box, that you're a toy collector, not a kid, and this is not for a kid, that now my nephew wants one because he saw it. This is the five pack, which we didn't know if it was an exclusive to a con, Target, Walmart, we didn't know it was Amazon. I was just looking up Batman because I ended up... Uh, getting an alert for my phone's hell back that I missed out. So Amazon restocked and I got an alert. So of course, I didn't want to spend just $20 and pay for shipping. So I paid something to get $35 or $25, whatever it is that Amazon has for free shipping. And I saw these, 
which they're exclusive to Amazon. And it's the five pack Fisher Price and Imaginex 1939 Detective Comics 27, Detective Comics 241 1957, Detective Comics number 345 1965, Superman Batman number 23 2005, and everybody's favorite Yellow Lantern Crazy Batman. Forever Evil number 4, which that issue did not do that great for some odd reason, but the yellow Batman figure did, and that's it. That's your 5-pack. This is $19.99 on Amazon. I went to go check because I want to get my nephew one. They're going to restock June 20th. I will put the link in the bio, but before you guys buy it out, let me get one so I can get one for my nephew. Um, he is graduating from grade school and he's going to junior high school. I feel freaking old. Uh, so yeah, I want to get him this as a graduation piece for him because he also likes Batman and, uh, I mean, who doesn't like Fisher Price? I love collecting these things, but I love the blind bags as you guys saw last time that I opened one up on my, one of my, uh, past uh, videos. I like the blind bags of these guys, and on the blind bags, you can tell which one is what. Uh, if I find a cheat sheet on that, I will link it to you. I will not post it in the edit video. I don't want to share all my secrets with everybody, throwing it out there as a freebie. I'll be nice and share it with you in a private message on Instagram if you like. Uh, but this was really cool find on Amazon, which I didn't even know it was an exclusive for them. Uh, we weren't sure if it was supposed to be an exclusive for Target, uh, Walmart, or Comic-Con. It didn't end up being that, and it was end, end up being Amazon. It was like on the down low. And the other piece that these should have came together, which this thing destroyed my John Wick, is Hellbat. I missed that when he first came out. Uh, he sold out second after the Superman Unchained. I was able to pick up the Superman Unchained because, you know, as everybody knows, in the background, I'm a very big Superman fan. Batman stuff, I usually get after my Superman stuff. I was able to get a, a Superman Unchained, and I did say to myself, ha, let me keep it closed. Maybe one day I might meet Ted McFarlane again. Sure enough, about a few days later, uh, Midtown Comics had a question the Q&A for Tom McFarlane and I ended up winning a ticket for them to do the question the Q&A and I met Tom McFarlane and he was able to sign the Superman on chain and I said shoot I want another one and uh, I went over to Amazon I bought another one so I have one open one is closed signed now I have my hell back these figures are great they're so awesome heavy worth the $20 that Amazon has everywhere else GameStop has them for $26.99 other places have them in the range between $24 to $26.99 uh, but I was able to get this for $19.99 on Amazon of course I did I bought a little bit more so I could get free shipping Amazon packing sucks they don't put the bubbles into it. They don't know how to, they don't care for packing. They just pack it and ship it to get it out there. This thing destroyed John's Wick Funko Pop because it was not packed right. Returned that, got a refund for it. That should have been with this order and it separated it. They put it in a yellow padded envelope, so that got destroyed. It was a whole mess. But I got everything okay now. I got my refund for John Wick. I'm returning the damage one for to Amazon. I got a better one today. Got my hell back. Wanted to show you guys what I got a few days ago that should have been part of the video. But the boxes were destroyed. So I didn't open it up on video. But I did get in more of the Toilet Ninjas. And I did get another bundle which was $24.99. I did not want to wait... I opened it up before dinner, and as soon as I popped them open, I ended up getting a common, which I needed. I ended up scoring the bonus figure, 
which this is a PPG value of 50 bucks, guys. 50 bucks PPG value for this little guy. And when I saw it, I was like, wow. When I picked up the little ball, I was like, this is heavier than the other ones. And sure enough, the reason was the bonus figure. Another figure I didn't need was the other Chase Glow in the Dark uh, Ninja with the gas mask on it. I got it. I got the regular version as well, but I gave that to my nephew. Uh, I also I also got the other Chase with the pink with the little teddy bear in the front that he's reading the newspaper. I gave that to my nephew, so now we both need 7 and 7. I'm definitely going to order uh, next order. Uh, from GameStop because they send the they sell the bundle. Uh, it's usually twenty five dollars, I believe, or twenty six dollars for six. So that's a great deal. It was on sale twenty four ninety nine. I jumped on it. Came in this morning. I couldn't wait anymore. So that was the reason I opened them and I didn't open it up on camera. But that's what I got today. Today I have a box from Poptopia number forty three, and finally. Finally, after three months of pre-order, my Midtown Comics came in this morning, and I was so excited when I got the email. Usually, depending on the shipping, it takes a while, but since I believe that they've been on back order and they're trying to get all the orders out to customers, I got this within two days. Two days ago, I got tracking, and it came in this morning from uh, UPS. Now, tell you the truth, I did so many pre-orders before the pandemic, I don't remember what comic I ordered. I know it has to do with something with Punchline, but I don't know which number I ended up grabbing. Uh, so we're going to open up that after Poptopia. Uh, this was the Friday surprise. No, sorry. This is the Sunday uh, one because Sunday they do numbers. So we're going to open it up, see what we got. It was a Sunday. You, uh, it was a $25 box plus shipping. Uh, Poptopia, I love it because you have the option of um, pack of getting um, first class or um, priority. So I have a white piece of paper. They put this in when you get a really good hit between an exclusive vaulted a grail or a chase. So we're not going to open that up. We'll open that up after. We'll put that away. Let's get the first one out. Poptopia always packs their stuff in a brown paper bag so you don't see what it is. So that's the whole point of the mystery boxes, which they do it actually the right way. And they always ship their pops in pop protector, the seven bucks of pop protectors, and the boxes are always mint. I don't have any complaints about pop, uh, Poptopia. I did order some other ones from Chalice. I was able to grab it from them the other day. Chrono Toys. And I did order another single box from Poptopia. So I'm going to do the uh, upcoming week, maybe Monday, Tuesday. I'm going to do the uh, mystery box battle to see who's got the better box that week. So let's get this going. Let's pull this off. And it looks like Tommy Hawk. Tommy Hawk. Skateboarder. The famous skateboarder of all time. I don't think there's anybody better than him now. Uh, but Tommy Hawk, People Pop. That's his actual art in the back, which is like uh, a hawk skull. Tommy Hawk in the back. Uh, don't know what the PPG, PPG value is on him. This is Birdhouse number one. Uh, this would be pretty cool if you actually meet Tommy Hawk. I never seen him come into Brooklyn. To do anything, I think he usually stays out in California. Uh, but that would be awesome to get signed by him. That would be really, really cool. So that's one. Let's see what it is. I don't think the paper was for Tommy Hawk. I haven't opened it up yet. But let's see what's in the box. Okay. This is, this is the second one. I'm going to pull it off. It's backwards. It's uh, Ruby Red. 2019 summer convention exclusive with the hood uh i don't know much about this uh watch ruby on uh rosen teeth i don't know i gotta look up her ppg value but she was number 42 
I thought I ordered number 43, number 42. This was Sunday's drop. I'm going to look at the PPG value, and I'll put it in the video. You guys will see if I did a good hit or a bad hit for $25. Um, so the paper is congratulations, you got an exclusive. So I got an exclusive. So every time you get an exclusive Chase Vaulted or Grill, they will put this in there. If you don't have anything like a comment, they do not put this in there. But that's what I got. I'm going to check out the PPG value. Now, to the most awaited package of all time that I've been waiting for more than three months. I pre-ordered this long time ago. I did miss out on the pre-appearance of Punchline, which is Joker's new girlfriend. Uh, this, I believe, was one of the pre-orders. I did so many pre-orders on comics. Then the whole distributing thing happened that uh, DC now dropped. Uh, their main uh, distributor because I guess they're still not opened up and they didn't want people to wait anymore uh, because I did contact Midtown Comics. Midtown Comics said, you're very safe. Don't worry about it. It's in your account. We, the money was taken out because by the time the pandemic happened, the, the distributor Diamond supposed to uh, ship the comics to them. They didn't. Whole big thing issue happened. DC got tired of it. As you guys know, last week they dropped Diamond. They went with another distributor. I have no idea who it is. Uh, I didn't read the full article on it, but it was all over the place. I guess DC got tired of waiting because a lot of people want comics. It was hurting the industry, so DC needed to do something. I'm not sure about Marvel, if they're still with Diamond, if they're still getting comics out. So drop a comment below. Let me know. If Marvel dropped their distributor, picked up a new distributor, or if Disney's printing out their own books now. We don't know. Uh, but drop a comment below. And if I haven't said this in the beginning of the video, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, like, comment, turn on the notifications when I will drop another video. And to the people who make fake accounts to dislike and leave nasty comments, I will report you. And I've done so in the past. In the last three videos, somebody has to go around and start doing nasty comments and dislike gang. Well, I don't dislike anybody's video. If I don't like the video, I leave it alone. I don't put down thumbs down. I like the video. I like certain YouTubers. I leave a thumbs up. I leave a comment. We have a conversation. And that's what I expect back. Respect for respect. So please... Stop with these dislike gangs. It's stupid. So let's open up this comics. Let's see which ones I got in. Uh, I'm still shocked that they shipped out fast. Usually, I don't get my comics very fast from Minton Comics. Because I could wait. I'm not in a rush. You rush, you get damaged comics. So I don't get... I don't rush, and you get good comics, so I wasn't really in the rush. Awesome packaging from Minton Comics. They bubbled it up, their famous brown paper bag. When they ship out, they always ship out with um, their brown paper bags, and they do board them. You know, board and, board and bag. This is my thing. This was, uh, I ordered three of these of a certain comics because, of course, I want to get them signed and graded um, for my collection. I don't remember what I ordered, so your guess is good as mine. I didn't even look at the invoice, what it is. All I know, it was supposed to be a limit, one per customer, but I ordered it before they hit the limit thing for customers. So I don't even know what it is for sure enough. We're going to find out right now. Okay, now I know. It's three copies of uh, Art Adams' punchline cover. She's the full cover. I do have three. Like I said, there was no limit on the pre-orders when I first ordered it. I went back to my account just to look to see if my pre-orders went through when I got the alert. And I saw now it was one per customer. Uh, so I did order these before they hit the one limit per customer this is punchlines full cover of her 
Everybody went nuts when she came out. This is Batman number 92. Art Adams um, cover. I can't wait to meet him and get these three graded by him. Hopefully they do a Midtown comic signing. They're all pretty mint. This is going to score between anywhere from a 9.6 to a 9.8, 9.9 maybe. There is no issues with the spines at all. The comics look to be in great shape. Well, it's upside down. I got to fix it. Uh, but yeah, Batman 92. I finally got them after three months that I pre-ordered them and I waited so long. Thank you, Pandemic. Couldn't make me wait any longer. Uh, but they're finally in my hands. I was able to order three. There is a limit, one per customer on the site. I did order them before the the limit hit so I got lucky I missed out on the 89 and 90 I think 91 too as well I missed out but I got my 92s I gotta hunt down the 89 uh, if I get one copy I'll be very happy but this is my video for tonight thank you everyone who's watching please subscribe like comment turn on the notifications Tell your grandmother to subscribe. I'm pretty sure she's home bored anyway. Uh, she needs some laughter in her life. Uh, and to the dislike gang who's going around disliking videos and making stupid comments, I will report you. So have a good night. This is Funko Rebel. Good night.